Recently, I went to hear a speaker. Let me rephrase. I planned ahead, made my reservation for the lunchtime event, ordered a non-vegetarian meal, although I am a vegetarian, but that's another story for another day. I planned my time to hear this speaker who came to my city just to give this speech. I got there in the nick of time. When the speaker took the podium, the first thing he said was, I didn't prepare any comments. I never prepare. Really? I reserved my seat way in advance. I paid ahead of time. I scheduled my appointments around this event. I washed my car, got gas, only to be told by the speaker that he did not think enough of this event to prepare. Really? I prepared more than he did? You're speaking to 500 people and you can't be bothered to prepare? Really? It gets worse. A minute later, he asks for the lights to be dimmed. Now here he was, an African-American man standing on a small unlit stage in a darkened room. Really? This went on for 10 minutes before he got to his PowerPoint. So there I was, sitting in the dark, guessing where in the world was the speaker, just like where in the world is Waldo? Really? Here's another problem. He did have a PowerPoint, so obviously he did prepare. If I can't trust him on what he says about his preparation, how can I trust him on anything else? An end time is a promise you make your audience. If he really did not prepare, how could he be done on time? The content was actually good and the conclusion had a call for action. But the hole he dug himself into in his introduction was a really big hole. Don't be your own worst enemy. Really. For more of my insights into communication, visit my blog, leadersneedtospeak.com.